Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing amazing. So, the other day, I decided to go live and just share some updates about myself and what's been going on in the past two years with my friends and family because, let me tell you, a lot has been going on in the past couple of years. So, the reaction that I got was just so amazing. I just felt like I have to recreate this video somehow and share it with as many people as I can because I have a feeling this could inspire some of you guys and you also get to know a little bit more about me so yay! Uh, so without further ado let's uh, get to the story so a little bit of background to for those of you who don't know me I am adopted from Brazil so I was born in Brazil but I grew up in Jerusalem Israel um, I was adopted by a Jewish couple from Israel and I flew all the way from Brazil to Israel when I was seven weeks old and uh, one day when I was 21 I decided to take my things and go to Canada and uh, I honestly didn't really plan to stay in Canada at the time but uh, 10 years later I worked all over the country as a chef and later on I decided to go to business school and after that I opened my own business a fashion magazine called Canada Fashion Magazine and so after 10 years living in Canada all by myself uh, no family but a lot of really amazing supportive beautiful friends and I miss you all guys um, I decided that it was time for me to come back to Israel um, but again I didn't know what was waiting for me because uh, in the beginning, I just felt like it's going to be a long visit because I haven't seen my family in so long. But uh, as you can see right now, I am sitting in my home in Jerusalem, Israel. So a lot have happened since. <laughs> so almost exactly two years ago, I decided to go and visit my family and I flew all the way from Canada to Israel um, and the crazy thing is that the person that you see sitting right in front of you is completely different than the person that I was two years ago I was a bit of a loner uh, I was definitely worn out from working so hard creating this business and running this business without a lot of support and um, also I felt like me and my family had to have a little bit of work for to patch our relationship because we didn't have a relationship since I didn't really see them for that long so I feel like emotionally I was a little bit drained and I was single so uh, fast forward to January 2020 I uh, met up with a guy that I met and I know since high school now is my husband and the father of my child um, we met in January 2020 and it's a little bit crazy and I can't really explain this in only three minutes but a lot of sparkles flew and um, we started dating right away and at the time I thought that I'll be going back to Canada and continue working on my business so we were talking about having a long distance relationship um, little did we know that this crazy pandemic is gonna fall on our heads and uh, when it did happen I decided to make the crazy decision to stay in Israel and be with my family and my boyfriend and uh, see what's gonna happen so we um, had we went through quarantine together and honestly we just made the best we could out of this situation because you know it was scary and horrible for everybody 
um and uh we did record even like a like a cooking video for youtube just for fun a few months later uh he proposed for me to get married and a few months later i discovered that i was pregnant with our baby so even though we were all going through this really really tough times i honestly just felt so grateful and so lucky to find someone like daniel my husband to go through this really really difficult times and later on we decided that well i had to get my things from canada and we flew to canada from israel while i was pregnant um and it was not fun trust me uh but i i had to do it i had to also like have some kind of like a closure um and get my my things uh, so when we flew back, the experience was also like bittersweet because it was so rough to see like place I lived in doing so horrible. Uh, but at the same time, our experience was okay, you know, like we had a very decent b and um, We one day after we got out of like another quarantine, uh, we got out and we took a walk and we just walked five minutes out outside and to this beautiful park that I've never been to and I've been living in that area for so long. Um, and that park was actually the place where we got married at and you can see the pictures, they're beautiful, it's all over my social media. Um, and, uh, it was a beautiful wedding with, like, a very little amount of people, you know, and our families weren't there, but it was just, like, amazing that we got the chance to do it, and, uh, I packed my apartment, I found some amazing tenants to rent my apartment, which was also, you know, like, such a fluke in such crazy, insane times, um, and we flew back here to Israel, so you know like my so when we came back to israel we had a beautiful baby boy and he's seriously the most amazing boy in the whole world um and um with regards to my business i'm still continuing my business and actually what this pandemic did for me was to it forced me to focus on where i really wanted to go in life which was to run it online from anywhere in the world so i'm really happy that i still have a business and i am able to um, be resilient and operate long distance even from here right now so the moral of the story is that First of all, you know, these crazy times, they're not easy for anyone, but if anything, they really, really humbled me to appreciate the small things in life. And it's not that small for me, but I feel like I always wanted to have my own family. And not only I have my new family with my husband, I also gained my old family back and I got more like another extension to the family which is my husband's family which are uh a, a family of um, um full of amazing people and i feel so grateful to even have something like that in my life but going back two years ago to that girl that was so different from this girl sitting right in front of you today um i was alone in you know, a foreign country, running my own business, uh, by myself, and things were far from being easy. Running a business is not easy. Being alone was not easy. And uh, every time I get like these flashbacks from Facebook or whatever that remind shows you pictures from like three, four years ago, I'm like, oh my gosh, was I ever so different. And, um, if you want, I'm more than happy to do another video about the stuff that I went through in Canada uh, because some of them were pretty crazy and I feel like sometimes it felt like going through hell and back 
and um, I wanted to give up so many times like things did not go smoothly for me and at all <laughs> and I made a lot of mistakes and um, in the end you know like I really like sometimes I really wanted to give up and just call it quits but something told me to just keep going and I'm so happy that I did uh, oh boy it was so worth it in the end trust me so if you ever feel um, like you want to give up and that this is not worth it just keep believing keep fighting the good fight I promise you it's all gonna be worth it stay strong you guys and I also wanted to say uh, happy holidays to everybody and I hope this video inspires you I love you all kisses from Jerusalem and I'll see you in the next video